Okay, so I'm here with Cthulhu, and uh, we were talking in the past couple of days about different hero loadouts. Honestly, we've been busy mentally, that is, <laughs> this entire update. Uh, I, I say mentally just because we've been talking a lot more than we've been doing, but we've all been trying out like a whole lot of different hero loadouts, and we're going to start making some more videos on those, and we're going to start off with, well, smoke bombs, which is kind of an interesting topic because... It didn't really seem like anything more than, like, just a helpful item. Whereas, like, if you threw on medicinal fumes, you could heal yourself with your smoke bomb, which was nice and effective. But I'll show it on screen. Um, I'm probably going to crop it just to show you, like, what a normal smoke bomb looks like and how it kind of surrounds the player and it's good and it's, it's normal. And there was a bonus in the game that really got me thinking. So I'll start out with the Dimmok, whatever her whole name is, Dimmok Mari where she has the utility belt, where it reduces the cooldown by 42%, which brings it down from 45 seconds to 26.9 seconds, basically 27 seconds, which is pretty good. All things considered, like, you can use those a lot. I mean, rounding up just for easy, easy math. Every 30 or so seconds, every 20 and 25 seconds or whatever, you can just throw another smoke bomb, which is very good. During a normal 8-minute defense, you can get off about 16 or 17 smoke bombs if you're spamming them, which is a lot. That's a lot, a lot. And I never really paid her too much attention because the actual smoke bomb radius, as you can see, is, is not that big. However, what we have here, and I have fleet right now, but I'm going to re-enable, I'm going to have to kind of look for him, is endless smoke. So if you have uh, this guy, Inf Infiltrator Ken, he gives you the bonus of having the radius increased by 46%, which looks like this. So you can now see that the, the radius is just massive. Um... It's, it's not even close to what it was originally. And part of what we think is going on is his commander perk that increases it by 186% is also being applied to his standard perk. Because I'll show on screen right now another test that Cthulhu and I did where we compared me using him in my support squad and Cthulhu using him as his commander. And you can see that they are exactly the same size. So... Unfortunately, you can kind of figure that this is going to get nerfed. However, I'm still going to be excitedly showing you guys this whole this whole loadout because I personally believe that even when they reduce it to a 46% increase, it's probably still going to be pretty big. You know, like it's it, that's a 46% increase from the radius. So the actual size of the smoke bomb should get about at least twice as big, give or take. And, um, and that's still very powerful because when you throw that smoke bomb, it's still hitting for the same damage no matter the size. And it's basically like throwing down a gas trap in a huge area around you that, that can heal not only you, but your teammates as well. And that kind of ties into the team perk that we've selected here. Personally speaking, I'm always, always, always partial towards the Soaring Mantis. I do believe that that is definitely a solid one uh, because the because the jumps boost you forward it's fantastic for movement whenever you're getting around the map uh like like doing encampments which is kind of probably what i'll be having showing on the screen right now is like a few of the encampments we've done the smoke bombs are fantastic for those and the the, the, the additional jumps helps you get around a lot but we were talking and i'm sort of sold that bioenergy source might be better because because of one thing and I'll get into Underdog first because of that. So Underdog is basically health and bioenergy source is shield. And both of these come from uh, different sources. So the Underdog boosts your health based on the enemies that are around you. So if you're low health and you throw a smoke bomb in the middle of a crowd of zombies, you will get more HP from your smoke bomb than normal over a period of time. And the reason I'm sold on the bioenergy source is it's instant. The moment you consume that energy, it goes straight back into your overall shield which we also found works with nature zombies. So that might be a bug. Cthulhu's not so convinced, but I think that like nature zombies healing you with their effect seems a little, a little broken. Um, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, as soon as you throw a smoke bomb, as soon as you use some, some throwing stars, as soon as you use your dragon slash, your shield will basically come right on back. Then, then as long as you've got the smoke bomb to heal yourself with the, um, the alchemist Jess, or I think alchemist Sarah, um, you'll, you'll, you'll get that bonus. And I'm going to currently, uh, click through all my different characters just so you can see who all I'm using, Infiltrator Ken, and then Tale of the Dragon is a big one from the Snuggle Specialist Sarah. As I am recording this, as this video is being released new, in the item shop, you can get the Snuggle of Sarah, uh, Snuggle 
Snuggle special. The names in this game are just lovely, I know. Uh, she's in the shop right now for 2800 and that's in the event shop. So she'll probably be here for a while. But if you're watching this from the future and you still have a voucher, you might be able to pull her out of the... Uh, out of the event here so definitely worth grabbing she is a very uh very very powerful hero for the dragon slash because on top of the normal dragon slash where you lunge forward and kill everything in your path she leaves behind a trail of fire and that that hits for a lot even as a even as a support as your lead it hits for even more and it's it's very significant i can actually show that that's uh that's 45 instead of 80 18 and that's that's a very powerful thing. You can kill even even miss monsters if you do it appropriately. So I use her on every single ninja loadout that has the dragon slash. And then uh, Fuel for the Fallen. Fuel for the Fallen, I'm skipping Mad Tidings for now, is probably the one that you're going to want definitely. He's also from the same event, same story, but he's not in the shop. You need to get him through playing through the quest line of this current update. And he gives you basically energy restoration for kills, which... I mean, in a loadout where you're using your Dragon Slash and Smoke Bombs as much as you possibly can, I, I don't think I need to explain why getting your energy back is a big deal. Um, because what happens a lot is you'll use up your Smoke Bomb or you'll throw your Throwing, star, your throwing Stars or you, um, you'll you get hit by a Nature Zombie where you won't have enough energy left to like use a Dragon Slash to kind of help you out. Um, that's where this guy comes in handy a lot. I think he saves us a lot because if you're using the Bioenergy Source, and you're basing and you're using the medicinal fumes not only are your smoke bombs dealing a lot of damage but you'll be in the middle of a crowd of zombies more often than not and you're going to be relying on your smoke bombs and your energy usage to heal you and to use the smoke bombs you need energy so fuel for the fallen is just a fantastic one to ensure that your your energy is always regenerating so long as you're getting kills and i skipped over mad tidings simply because Crackshot, the Mad Tidings is just such a fantastic overall boost. Um, the the 1 to 50 shots is effectively, on average, a 25% overall damage buff. And then it levels out at a 50% damage increase um, all around once you get that 50th shot shot. 50th shot fired. <laughs> English. And um, so I use him on pretty much every single, every single, every single loadout because it's just so powerful. And... I want to say that, like, he also does add stability, which is kind of not that big of a deal. I have personally not noticed any of that. If it adds extra recoil, I, maybe it's because I'm on PC and I'm used to dealing with weapon recoil from SMGs all the time anyway, but it's not that big of a deal. So, uh, hopefully... This loadout makes sense. Uh, Team Perk, like I said, Soaring Mantis, Underdog, you can't go wrong with any of that. All of those are perfectly good options. Um, but yeah, with this loadout, you can effectively, so long as you're using Bioenergy Source, use all of your abilities to heal yourself, which is not unique to this build, but the Smoke Bomb is currently just massive. As of now, I do believe that the Smoke Bomb will probably get nerfed. I think it'll still be plenty powerful, but... As you can, as you saw earlier, like this guy seems to be giving his commander perk in the support squad. So all the more, all the more reason to throw on this setup right now. Like while you watch this video, if you're watching this the day of, the day after, the next day after, and they haven't patched this yet, use the smoke bombs. They're great right now. Um, I wouldn't even say they're overpowered. Like the radius is huge. I mean that's definitely huge right now. And uh, like you can you can see in the encampment footage, like it's affecting way more of an area than it probably should but right now i've been having a lot of fun with this loadout i wouldn't say that this is like my main loadout or anything but i will say that more games than not i'm finding myself throwing on dim mock mari because i honestly there's something so satisfying about tossing a smoke bomb killing the dozen enemies that you're running away from and getting health from it while you're inside of it it's a very very powerful very very fun loadout so that's it anything else to add cthulhu that i might have missed here no, not really. You pretty much covered it. Yeah, so I think that just about handles everything that this setup can offer. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions to change this or improve this in any way, leave them in the comments below. If this gets patched, I'll try to be on top of the comments in this video. Um, I do want to say one note as, as a very end of this video, rest in pieces to our fallen friend. <laughs> I'll show the patch notes right now. That you can no longer fly with the Spectral Blade. They patched it just, uh, just the other night here. And, uh, 
we all saw this coming. Who am I kidding? <laughs> if you didn't know before this update, uh, the Spectral Blade lets you lunge forward and you could fly with it. I'll be showing footage right now of the links using that to basically literally just fly around the map. And that was totally not intended for it to reset your Mantis Leap. So as I was speaking earlier about the Mantis Leap being an option, that is now currently fixed. So hope you guys enjoy this setup. Leave some comments uh, below if you guys want us to cover any other setups or if you have any questions about what you should put in your support team or how to spend your vouchers. I'll link that in the description below and I'll also link my guide to this entire update if you're not entirely sure how to use it or what's going on. Thank you guys for watching and then have a good one. Wow, look at that damage. Tom, oh, wow. Joe, this is for you. This is for you. <laughs>